Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of the Cinema Wave podcast. Uh, today, I'm going to be covering the newest film to come to Netflix streaming this week. It is called His Three Daughters. It is a film starring Carrie Coon, Elizabeth Olsen, and Natasha Leone, where the three of them play sisters who are unfortunately um, living the experience of their father, who is leading to his death, and he's now been put on hospice. And it's just the events of them dealing with this um, experience and having to also live with each other when they are not on the best of terms. Um, this episode is going to be non-spoiler. So if you haven't seen the film yet, please stay with me and I'll let you know about my thoughts about it, how I felt walking away from it and just a few facts about the film. Um, and then I recommend if you haven't seen the film, you should definitely go see it and go stream it right now on Netflix. It's a beautiful piece of artwork um, and it's a very personal and emotional piece, especially if you are somebody that's ever experienced grief, um, if, especially if it's been a close family member that you've seen on hospice. I guarantee that you will have a soft spot connection to this film just as I have um, and a lot of people that I've spoken about this film with, they have also walked away feeling very emotionally affected. Um, or connected to the film. Um, the film, like I said, it takes place in, well, I didn't say this, but it takes place in New York in a very small apartment um, where three estranged sisters end up having to work together to figure out how they're going to handle their father's inevitable death that is coming up and that ho the hospice team is preparing them for. The performance between these three actresses is just, breathtaking it is so heightened and specific um they have these incredible archetypes that at the beginning of the film which this is not a spoiler the three of them have very specific monologues that each of them do which as a viewer throws you right into who they are as a person so that you're not spending the time of the film trying to figure out who they are or what they want or um, get a relationship with them. Instead, you're able to know who these women are right off the bat. And then you're able to go on this experience of grief with each of them. I think it's also a beautiful written script because each sister is handling the grief in a completely different way than the other ones are. Um, which again, anyone that has ever experienced something like this, you know that grief is not a singular thing. It is also not experienced the same way, which I think Azazel Jacobs, who is the director, the writer and editor, he did all three. I think he just is able to put this so beautifully on the screen and into writing, um, that it's clear that he has a very deep connection to this story. Um, I also think because he was the sole director, writer, and editor that his clear vision just shines through and everything is so tightly knit that every pause or every breath is a specific reason of either keeping the tension or letting the tension out of the scene. Um, and even his directing. So it all takes place in this very small apartment um, in New York City, it's a rent-controlled apartment that the family has had in their lineage for a couple of years now, or actually a, lo a lot of years. Um, and after watching this film, you feel like you were in that apartment with them just from how tightly formed the script is, but then also the camera work. You can tell that there was never a moment or a movement that isn't warranted or not thought about. Um, Jacobs definitely just put his thought and soul into this film and it definitely shines through. And I think with also the three powerhouse female actors, this is practically a perfect film. In my opinion, it's one of my top favorites of the year. Um, it's a, what, what percentage is it at at nine? Rotten Tomatoes is a 97% right now, and this film has been out for a little while. It initially appeared at uh, 2023 in Toronto uh, Film Festival, and so it's definitely caught the eyes of a lot of people. I think if you have a chance to see it and you're looking for something that will give you that emotional arc or connection, it is a gorgeous piece of art. Um, some other things that it touches on is the memory that we walk away when somebody passes away. 
um, the memory that we want to establish for ourselves, the memory that we have versus other people have of that person who passed away. So you get to see that within the three sisters of themselves. How are they going to see their father once he actually passes? What are the memories that each of them individually are going to keep? But then also, how are they as a as a family going to remember him together? Um, it also talks in uh, at a huge depth about how estranged family comes together when somebody is passing away and the trouble and the emotional stakes that happen of having to put your issues or the past kind of on the back burner in order to handle the situation at hand, especially when you're in a hospice situation. Uh, specifically Carrie Coon. She does, an honestly, I think it's one of my favorite performances of her, of her entire career. She shows this the experience of not knowing how to handle grief or even death, but being forced into the situation and having to take it by the reins and figure it out as you go. Um, and clearly shows that sometimes you don't make the best decisions, but at the end of the day, you do have to make decisions. Um, and so that's her overall story that I took away from it. But then you also have the phenomenal and specific performances of Elizabeth Olsen, who plays the sister that is much more connected um, to her softer side, I would say. She's much more concerned with just making her father as comfortable as possible and trying to soak up as much time as she can with him rather than getting all the ducks in a row, which again, anyone can relate to either of those. And then you also have Natasha Leone who plays the youngest sister and her experience is she has been with the father the longest, the most, um, and possibly has also already accepted his death compared to the other two. So there's so many different elements that they're playing with in this film. Um, again, I think anybody can walk away with something related to this. Uh, it's a gorgeous film. I think it's going to be one that everybody talks about for a really long time. So again, I've said it multiple times now, but it might be my favorite of the year. I think it might be a multiple people's favorites of the year. So if you have the chance to watch it and if you have the time, I absolutely re recommend it. Again, it is on Netflix and you can stream it now. It just came out this past week. So those are my thoughts on his three daughters. Um, Non-spoiler. So if you have now watched the film and want to talk a little bit more about what happens, please leave us a comment below. Uh, let me know what you think about the film and if you loved it as much as I did. Just signing off. I am Liz Seiko. Thank you for watching. This is the culture.